Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. everyone, Luke Immerse Prime here, so it's time for this week's merchandise showcase vlog. So, in terms of what I did last week then, so last Saturday I was able to unbox my action figure of Sideswipe as he appears in Transformers for the Cybertron. Definitely a really cool figure of Sideswipe which I had to get and I had really fun time unboxing. Then later that day I bought the Lego Batman animated series Batman with Batman vs Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze set. It was definitely a really fun set, especially because it's based on my favourite show, I had lots of fun building it. And when it comes, of course, to what I got this week then, so I was able to get one thing via Amazon, and that was a video game collection on PS3. This is one of those classic HD collections they've done, and this is for an exclusive PlayStation franchise, which is made by Insomniac, and it's probably, in my opinion, their biggest franchise, because there's tons of games in this franchise, which I do also have, some of them I do need to get, and this is one I definitely had to get too, of course. Because this is a remaster of their first three games with trophies as well. And this trilogy, of course, is Ratchet and Clank. So this is the first three games all together remastered onto one Blu-ray disc, as it says here on the back of the box. So I just had to get it. And this means that hopefully one day I can then do like a, a very fun round from playing all the games. I'm definitely in for that. I've already played the, the, the remake of the original game, which is also based on a movie on PS4. Awesome game. Made me really interested to play more of them. So yeah, I got the trilogy here. Then this week I got quite a lot of Blu-rays, so here we go then, so let me just gather them here now. So, one of the first ones that I got is for a movie by Stanley Kubrick, definitely in my opinion one of his best movies, and it's also as well a war movie, and to me it's an absolute masterpiece, and that movie is Full Metal Jacket. I saw this film last year and I absolutely loved it, really amazing movie in my opinion. With great performance is in it from people like Matthew Morden, Adam Baldwin, Vincent D'Onofrio, Lee Ermey, Dorian Harewood, and among many others, just to name a few really. Definitely an absolute masterpiece. Then after that, I also as well got a horror movie, which is the first installment of a franchise. To me, this franchise was only best as a trilogy and did not need a fourth and fifth movie. To me, it was only three films of this franchise. And this franchise also has my second favourite role of Patrick Wilson of all time behind his role as Ed Warren in the Conjuring franchise. And this one, which is the original film of this franchise, is Insidious. Definitely, in my opinion, a really good horror movie. I really enjoy this movie. Hopefully one day I can get two and three on Blu-ray. Because, because to me, it's, it's only a trilogy. Then, after that, I also got a film which, in my opinion, has the best dramatic performance I've seen from Jim Carrey of all time. Alongside Kate Winslet. In what's probably my favourite love action role of Kate Winslet. I think in this film she's a great actress, absolutely proving it in this, alongside Jim Carrey. And this film, which where in my opinion Jim Carrey gives the best performance of his career when it comes to dramatic roles, is of course none other than Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. I saw this film and I absolutely loved it. Jim Carrey really pulled off an amazing performance in, in, in a dramatic role, he absolutely nailed it. If you guys want to see him play an, an, an against type character where he goes serious instead of comedic, then please see this film, it's amazing. Then also as well, I also as well got another film by Stanley Kubrick too as well, which is regarded as, as a legendary movie and is, is well known among fans of movies. And I, I also saw this. I think it's a great film as well. And that, of course, is none other than 2001, A Space Odyssey. It's, for my opinion, a, a great movie, in my opinion. And if you guys were to ask who my favourite character is, it's the robot HAL 9000. He's my favourite character in the film because I think he's really cool as a character. Then also as well, I also as well got a musical biopic, which actually came out this year and was released onto Blu-ray recently. And I, I watched this biopic because it's about one of my favourite singers of all time. And that's the absolute legend, Amy Winehouse. And I got this film, of course, which is Back to Black. So I saw this film early this year and I absolutely loved every second of it. Marissa Abel, who plays Amy, was in my opinion a perfect casting because, as guys can see on, this, on, on the poster, she looks just like Amy. They even got her voice right, even her singing voice right too. I was so blown away by how great she was in the role of playing Amy Winehouse. And the film just does a great job telling the story of Amy, the heartbreaking story of her, because she's in my opinion one of the greatest singers of all time, sadly one who we lost far too soon. Rest in peace to Amy. I watched this, this film and it was definitely in my opinion a great film. If you guys want a great musical bar, then please see Back to Black. Great movie. 
Then I also got a Blu-ray steel which is, which is an upgrade for a film last year. And this was a film which I was concerned about based on its trailers because the, the main out of the film wasn't going to be good. Especially because there was a part that, that, that the male characters in, in the film would be ruined. But thankfully, when I saw this film, I was so glad those rumours were false. Because I saw this film and I thought it was absolutely fun from start to finish. And that, of course, is the movie Ugged Steel, which is Dungeons and Dragons, Honour Among Thieves. So it's an upgrade to steel book, and I think it's definitely, in my opinion, a great film, one of the best films from last year. Because the characters were great, and the comedy was just brilliant, in my opinion, really well executed. And this week, I actually was all played the board game of Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's a great game. And I think this film did a really good job, you know, being based on that board game, in my opinion. Definitely, in my opinion, a really great film. So, I guess you guys can consider me a fan of a board game and a movie now, which is pretty awesome. So, I got on Among Thieves as a steel book. And finally, the last film that I managed to get on Blu-ray is a film that I really wanted really badly because this is, a, is my favourite film in a particular genre of movies and it's animated as well. And unfortunately, when it comes to HMV, they unfortunately do not sell the films from, of course, this franchise which make these animated films due to, course, rights involving Netflix, which, which I personally find really confusing. But I was thankfully able to find this film at Kex. And I can tell you guys that this is easily my favourite anime movie of all time. And also my favourite film by, by, by my favourite Japanese director, Hayao Miyazaki. And that is the absolute masterpiece, Spirited Away. So, I absolutely love this film. I saw it last year on Netflix and I thought it was just an absolutely perfect movie. In my opinion, the best anime film I've ever seen in my life. And it definitely deserved an Oscar for Best Animated Feature, 100%. Just an absolute masterpiece in my opinion. Even says here it, it's my favourite, favourite film of, of Jonathan Ross, which is pretty awesome. I can see why, because it's an absolute masterpiece. My opinion, the best an, an anime film of all time. So yeah, if you guys want to see a great an, anime film, then please see this. You will not regret it. Then this week, I also got several games from shopping as well, as well as, of course, Ratchet and Clank off Amazon. So when it comes, of course, to the games I got, one of them is a PS3 upgrade. As a matter of fact, always games are on PS3, so... Is actually so the first one is an upgrade from a ps2 game to ps3 and it's a it's a game involving of course my favorite swashbuckling franchise uh, and on ps3 i was able to upgrade of course the game which is based on pirates of the caribbean at world's end so i was able to upgrade it and i'm definitely happy to because ps3 is my favorite console and to be able to play this game on ps3 i'm so happy about that so i was able to upgrade at world's end on to ps3 then after that I got a game which is based on one of my favourite Marvel teams of all time. It's a game I've heard pretty good things about and I was, I was interested in playing. And that, of course, is the video game X-Men Destiny. I was really keen to check it out because it looked pretty good from what I've seen of it. So I thought, why not play it? So I got it on PS3. Then I was able to, to also well get a game which is, which is the first instalment of a franchise by, of course, the company Ubisoft. And... This is a franchise which, in my opinion, is unfortunately dead now. But I will say that its old games are much better than the games we get today. And this first game, of course, is none other than the original Assassin's Creed. So, here it is. It's, of course, on PS3. I would have played on Xbox, and I thought I'd revisit on PS3 in my, of course, time playing the, the games on PlayStation. Because I have the other games I want to play the franchise on PlayStation 4. So, I thought, why not get it on PlayStation 3 too? This is probably the only one I have one because all ones on PS3 did get remastered with PS4 anyway, so I had one on PS4, so I got this now on PS3. Then I was able to get a shooting video game, which was strongly recommended to me by my friends to play, and I've heard good things about this game too as well. This is, of course, the game Singularity. So, I've been told it's a great game, and I thought, why not see it myself? So, I got it, and, and it definitely looks really intriguing by, of course, the back of it, so, yeah, I got this. And the final game that I got for PS3 is a video game which involves a beloved fan favourite Blue Hedgehog who's getting a third live action film this Christmas. It's a game that I've heard great things about and I've been recommended to get alongside other games on PS3 for this franchise. And this is of course the game which is Sonic Unleashed. So I've heard great things about out this from people and I'm sure that everyone's going to be really happy if I've got this because of the game I've heard about it. So yeah, here it is. Got Sonic Unleashed. Then today I was able to get an action figure for this time, of course, um, a Marvel supervillain, 
one of my favourite enemies of all time of my favourite superhero Spider-Man. And that, of course, is a figure of Carnage. So I thought I'd get this. Looks really cool, especially because of his, like, web accessories he comes with for his symbiote. Looks really cool, I must say, really. So, yeah, I, I definitely wanted a figure of Carnage. Then after that, I was able to get another piece of merchandise, which is not, like, a figure or, like, a set or, or a film or game or anything like that. It's actually, this time, clothing. And it's a t-shirt for one of my favourite cinematic characters of all time. And you guys probably remember this because on one of my previous merchandise vlogs, I was able to get, of course, a mug with, of course, the character on, but where he was this time a cat. And I thought, as a joke, I'd get a t-shirt, which, of course, is part of this franchise, because I actually did a t-shirt of this joke. And, and I thought I'd get it because why not? It's pretty funny because I love cats and this character. And that, of course, is a t-shirt for Robocat. So yeah, I thought I'd get this as, as a funny joke, and here it is. So I guess you could say I finally got a shirt for Robocop, but if he was a cat. So yeah, that's a pretty cool thing that I got. <laughs> and finally, the last thing that I got was a Lego set. This was a Lego set that I really wanted to get, which I heard about. I, I knew I had to get it because I'd already got one set of this franchise already, and I thought I want to get the next one. And this, of course, is a Lego set for a Transformer, which is a beloved Autobot Scout. And that, of course, is Bumblebee. As it appears based on G1, and this is in Lego form. So, wow, Lego Bumblebee. So, I got this. I can hold it to be a long time, a Lego Optimus Prime figure. So, yeah, I'm happy to have got this set. Definitely more to the set than meets the eye. Absolutely. And I hope one day we'll do more sets of Lego Transformers because these are definitely, in my opinion, a great hit. Hopefully, Megatron will come along. I really hope so. So, guys, this is me, of course, doing my vlog of what I got this week. So, hope you guys enjoy that. So, you know, drill, guys, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to put in the comments what you guys think of what I got this week. What's your favorite thing that I got? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to join the team, probably press subscribe, who's coming in the future. And I'll see you all later.